last year, 2011, um, we had this idea to start looking through the SO archive um, at all of the process of SO and all of the rarities of SO, etc, etc. And in the process of that, we found all these different versions of the songs. Um, so from the basis of just the basic version of just Peter at the piano, um, maybe sounding like he's in his kitchen, to rough demos with David Rhodes, to Tony Levin coming over for a little trip, and then different versions of songs with the band playing. And most of it was based around the cassettes from Peter, because uh, Peter has a system where he has a getter blaster, and um, that's always on when he's working on anything, and it records the stereo out of the, of the console. So it means that you end up with all these kind of special moments that you wouldn't normally get when you'd just be running a half-inch machine, at, at, which was a format at the time, or maybe a, a little digital stereo machine. So we found all these various bits. So then Peter decided to um, try to edit together, say, take Red Rain and take all the bits of Red Rain that we liked that we marked, and then see if you can edit all of the bits that we'd marked from him at the piano, to him with David Rose, to him with Tony, to a band session, to maybe close to the final mix, and put that all into one edit. And um, yeah, it was really hard, and um, there were lots of versions and lots of versions and going back and forwards, but eventually we finally got this procedure of having the basic beginning to more of the kind of multi-track complicated end of each song. I think it's a really good journey and you really see how things came about in certain ways between the different edits. We've ended up with choosing one track for a 12 inch um, version called Sagrada. And um, Sagrada was a song um, that was recorded around the, the so period, um, which, which never made it. But what happens with Peter, one song um, can be worked on, and then the vocal melody for that song can end up somewhere else. And that's what happened with Sagrada. So Peter really likes the vocal melody that's in the Sagrada version, which is on the 12-inch, the which is very rough, actually. It's incredibly rough. It's like very basic. The band's just turned up and Peter's, Peter's you know, getting it all together and making it work, you know. It's, it's, but it's got a vibe, it's got something going on there. The vocal melody from Sagrada goes to In Your Eyes in the end. And so you hear that melody a little bit, a hint of it, and Peter's really attached to that melody, so he really wanted the Sagrada version to go on somewhere so that fans could hear it. Sagrada was never was never developed, but there were other tracks that um, were overdubbed a lot more on and, and almost made it to the record. And then in the final few months, it was decided that no, they wouldn't be used. The Courage track is a good example of, of it just feels that kind of period of, of, of Peter's career. It feels like it, it works, it fits in there, but it doesn't feel like it would fit on the So record. Um, so 
that's another track that hasn't been used anywhere else and uh, and I know as far as um, rarities are concerned and what people would collect has never been heard before. third thing um, is the alternative don't give up um, we were looking actually at using an alternative version of in your eyes um, which a part of that mix is being used on the so DNA so you can hear part of it there um, there's a particular guitar part of this verse of in, in your eyes that Peter's really in love with and wants to uh, use again on this upcoming tour the don't give up was just feeling more emotional and it had something more appealing to it and Peter listened a few times and made the decision, yeah, we'll put Don't Give Up onto the 12 inch as well. That's a good example of how in Peter's production you'd like, he likes to throw a lot of things at, at a song. And um, it's got uh, this amazing piano player called Richard T um, playing quite a lot on it, um, doing his thing. It's very, very beautiful. And um, that didn't really make it to the final uh, mix apart from the bridge section um, but it, it, you get to hear that it's very interesting and also there's a beautiful harmony um, from the backing singers um, who were mainly singing on the, the sledgehammer track as well as some bvs on the big time track and it's a real kind of gospel type harmony Don't give up, cause you some alternative Peter vocals on the end that he really likes, he's really attached to. A lot of work went into it and we're really proud of it and um, really hope people get to sit down and get the journey of, of how these songs were created. Mm -hmm. 